upgrading from a point and shoot for street photography. You know what? What if you did street photography with your point and shoot? Huh. Jump in the Pegasus. All kind of reckless the necklace. All kind of reckless I flexed it. What is the deal, beautiful people? My name is Ramon. This is LD Photo, part of the Lifestyle Defined Group. And this is where we talk about our favorite passion, photography. This is an AMA. If you're new here, you're not sure how this works, you leave your questions in the comment section down below and we answer them in upcoming videos. Today's question comes from viewer John Whitmore. And John says, love your videos. Thank you, sir. Love your comment. And he says, I have a question. I'm from Brooklyn and really just started out taking pics, mostly of the sky and some buildings, but would love to expand to street photography. I own a point and shoot and would like a mirrorless camera with long exposure if possible. What would you recommend on a budget? Well, on a budget to me, and this is all relative, I wish you to put a number in there for me. Well, I'm gonna set a budget for you. Coming from a point and shoot, a budget I would say is about $500, kit lens included. Street photography, you know, I'm not quite sure why you wanna get away from your point and shoot. Street photography is, is a very difficult genre and it takes a long time to get it. And I think the mistake a lot of people make when approaching street photography is they think the grunt of the, the work is in learning your camera and it's not. The 80% the of street photography is the street, is being present and absorbing the scene, your surroundings and developing that Spider-Man tingling hair standing up on the back of your neck for when something's going to happen or recognizing a dope scene and waiting for someone to walk into it or looking at a scenario unfolding and really just waiting for the right moment or just being there and just looking for randomness to happen and be ready to capture it. That I swear to you is 80% of street photography. And I don't care if you do it with an iPhone, a point and shoot, or a, a $10,000 camera. I don't think you will come any closer to understanding street photography with or without your point and shoot. I think a large part of it is just being present and, and going where, where the magic is happening, so to speak, where people are and, and just trying to develop a sense for when when things are going to happen. Now, I'm not a, I, I I can't say I'm not a fan of point and shoots because these things oftentimes have some really good sensors in there. You look at like the Sony RX. <laughs> that is a serious point and shoot right there. And <laughs> I've seen some pictures come off of that guy that's that's really amazing. And to be quite honest, I think the the RX is pretty much an A6000 or A6300 in the body of a point and shoot. So that's nothing to, to, to snark at. Now, one of the things that I personally have not done, but I, I've always respected one of the opinions of street photography I've always respected is you want to have a, a, a camera that uh, sort of keeps it low key. So I, I can recommend a $500 DSLR to you, but are you gonna walk around with this big cannon and put it in people's face? Uh, maybe not, right? So then that, come back, that comes back to your point and shoot. Well, what's wrong with your point and shoot? You know, I, I, would, I would argue that the point and shoot or your phone is probably one of the better tools to use for street photography because, you know, it's simple. You don't have to, you don't have to go out in the street and worry not only about being there to capture the right moment, but you don't have to worry about your camera settings and this and ISO dials and shutter speed. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's a point and shoot or it's your iPhone. Hit the button, right? Uh, so I would, I would challenge you first to actually try street photography with your point and shoot. And then maybe even do some of it with your with your uh, with your iPhone. And in the beginning, 
part of a, being a street photography, a street photographer is you have to get over this fear of offending people, sticking cameras in their face and, and just bringing attention to yourself. And, and I feel like doing this with your point and shoot or your phone will give you the confidence to get over that hurdle. And then when you're ready, you can go get your big boy camera and you can start, you know, separating subjects on the street with, with all these these narrow depth of fields and all that dope stuff. But yeah, let's say you just want me to shut the hell up. You want to you want to buy a camera uh, at a five hundred dollar budget. I would check out the uh, I would check out the Olympus. I, I really like the OMD, the EM tens that that is my current daily camera that's what i use for street photography that thing is a beast with a prime lens on there and it's got image stabilization on there so you can get some really good street shots at night um the sony a6000 is always 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 a good camera to look at but for street photography i would stay clear i would look for something with stabilization or you could even look like a, something like a Panasonic G7 or G one of those G series, whichever one's cheaper, and find you a lens that's stabilized and and rock out that way. Um, I find that one of the things that made my life easier with street photography is the the in body stabilization, and that's why I continue to recommend the Olympus at this price point for this genre of photography. You know, you don't have to worry about getting blurry shots. And, and you know, street photography is not about that. You're going to get some blurry shots. But as long as you get your composition right in the moment, it's okay if it's off by a hair. But I, I think the, the stabilization is definitely a plus. So for me, I'd recommend that Olympus. I want you to, to, to do your research and, and come back and, and comment on this video. Let me know what you actually went with. Let me know if you, you embraced the streets with your current camera and how that went for you. Uh, for everyone else, thank you for checking out the video. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. We got plenty more coming. And uh, yeah, my name is Ramon. I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs> well, I guess. And the reason we started Lifestyles to Find is because uh, if we weren't on camera arguing about these things, the technologies, the phones, the iPhones, the Androids, the cameras, the games, we'd be on the phone arguing about it. <laughs> we'd be in each other's houses arguing about it. So why not just put it in front of a camera for everyone to enjoy it the way we do? That's what Lifestyles to Find is all about. We just...